Now, sa video natin, I will discuss how to locate the maximum deflection and how to solve for the maximum deflection uh, using Castellanos theorem. So, uh, to speed up our solutions, let's just compare our MR and uh, DM over DM prime with our results from the virtual work because the same lang naman yung process ng pagcompute ng location of the maximum deflection, but we will just try to check if uh, DM over DM prime will be equal to our MV. And then just review the video don sa virtual work uh, method to be able to learn how to integrate the function and then essentially solve for x by setting uh, the slope to 0. So, bale, comparison lang yung gagawin natin ngayon. Again, uh, the same lang yung process din doon sa virtual work system. Uh, we will assume kung nasan yung maximum deflection. Now, yung location ng maximum deflection is naturally uh, within dito sa span AB because masyadong malaki yung distributed load natin compared sa concentrated load dito. So, let's just say uh, that the maximum deflection Let's say ito yan. This is the location of the maximum deflection. And then, let's try to label that as uh, x. Let's just say that's x meters from the hinge support. So, if this is x, then this distance, yung remaining distance, is uh, 6 minus x. So, the same lang to doon sa uh, virtual work method natin. And so, if we will add this point here, then tatlo na yung magiging segments natin. Uh, let's just say uh, that the location of the maximum deflection is at point D. So, our segments will be uh, from A to D and then uh, let's just consider from B to D so that this will be our limit kasi kung uh, from D to B tayo, uh, let's say D to B, our limit will be hard to determine because it will become X plus 6 minus X. Uh, I mean, it will still be 6 minus X. However, you will need to get the resultant dito. So that will be more complex. So let's just uh, consider BD and then let's also consider CB for uh, this segment so that we will only include this force and so our limit for segment AD will be uh, from 0 up to X so this will be 0 to X and then our limit for BD will be from 0 up to 6 minus X because this is the distance of that segment, so uh, 0 to 6 minus x. And then for CB, we have 0 to 2. And uh, and so now, let's try to form our moment equation. Uh, but first, we will have to solve for the reactions first. Now, I will apply a moment dito sa D. Now, this will be M prime. Because diba, uh, to solve for the slope, we need to apply M prime at the location where we want to get the slope. So, uh, we know that the slope at the maximum deflection will be 0. So, we are essentially adding all of these, the definite integrals, and then we will set that to 0. Now, our reaction here will be the same kanina, which is, uh, let's just check, 135 minus M prime over 6, and then ito will be uh, 210 plus M prime over 6. Now, just check the first part ng video natin to uh, to be able to know how these were obtained. So, again, our M will be uh, for segment AD, we have this one and this will be our origin from here patungo dito sa cut. So, that will be 135 minus M prime over 6 and then minus uh, 25 x squared. Again, this is from w x squared over 2. And then for segment BD, uh, we have 45 times 2 plus x. Now sir, bakit 2 plus x? Because ito yung origin natin. And then we will go to this cut kasi from uh, B to D. Now, yung moment arm ng 45 is 2 plus itong x, uh, this distance, 2 plus x. And then we also have uh, minus 25 x squared. Again, this is also minus because our origin is from the right. So, magbabago yung conventions natin. Yung clockwise moment, magiging negative. Ito kasi magkukos ng clockwise moment about dito sa cut. And also this distributed load, which is itong 25x squared. And then we also have by, which will cause a counterclockwise moment. So, that will be plus, plus 210, uh, plus m prime over 6, multiplied by x. Because again, this is our origin. So, yung moment arm ng by is itong x. Now, move na lang natin to. And then, uh, for CB, we have negative 45 multiplied by x because ito lang yung force dyan uh, sa segment CB. So, ito na yung m natin. And so, to get mr, we will simply set m prime to 0. Itong lahat ng m prime. So, uh, setting this to 0, uh, I mean, uh, meron pa tong x, uh, which is the moment arm. So, 135 minus m prime over 6 times x. And then, setting this to 0, we will have mr is equal to 135x minus 25x squared. And then, for bd, we have negative uh, 45 times 2 plus x minus 25x squared. And then, setting this one to 0, we have plus 210x. So, plus 210x and then move na lang natin to for uh, CB we have the same lang so negative 45x and then let's try to differentiate 
m with respect to m prime. So for the first one, we have this uh, this function. So copy natin yan. Now, uh, this will expand into 135x minus m prime over 6x minus 25x squared. Now, this will be a constant. This will be a constant. And this will be a constant. So yung matitira na lang is negative 1 over 6 times x because this will be 0 once we differentiate this will also be 0 and yung matitira na lang is yung coefficient ng m prime which is negative 1 over 6 times x so this will be negative 1 over 6 multiplied by x and then for the second one uh, let's copy this one and then let's try to expand so uh, this will become again walang m prime sa expression na to so this will be uh, a constant term so this will be 0 once we differentiate and then this will also be 0 once we differentiate and then this one will expand into 210x and then plus m prime over 6 multiplied by x and so this will also be a constant term because walang m prime dyan and then if we will differentiate this one yung matitira na lang is 1 over 6 multiplied by x and so for segment bd we have 1 over 6 multiplied by x and then for the last one uh, we have negative 45 times x now this will be a constant term kasi wala tong m prime now uh, if we differentiate that one that will be 0 and so, yung dm over dm prime natin will be 0 for segment CB. Now, let's try to compare if uh, itong dm over dm prime is the same mv don sa virtual work method natin. So, compare to mv. Now, let's try to check. Diba, ito yung uh, mv natin for segment AD which is negative 1 over 6 times x. Which is, diba, uh, the same lang dito. 1 over 6 times x for segment AD. Ito. And then, for segment BD, we have mv of 1 over 6 times x. So, ito na yan. 1 over 6 times x. And so, applying the same process dito, which is nandun sa video natin for virtual work, uh, computing for the maximum deflection using virtual work, then we will obtain the same value dito which is 2.876 and then once we use this one in our limits we will be able to obtain uh, the maximum deflection which is uh, still equal to 642.65 ito 642.65 and so uh, to cut our video short just try to explore the process dun sa kabilang video natin and then uh, maybe I'll just put it in the description so yan lang mga lodi